pretty incredible night for our program, uh, for for our athletic department, for I think for the state of Maryland in general. Uh, I'm real happy for. I mean, I haven't been living in Maryland for too long, less than two years, but uh, really happy for for our athletic department, um, uh, our program, and for all the supporters of Maryland baseball, which we've begun to uh, collect some of those people and uh, we're really happy to uh, be able to re represent the state the right way. I couldn't be more happy with our guy. I'm just very, very happy for our coaching staff and for our players. These guys work very, very hard um, to get to this point and um, this is not a very easy place to play. I've coached at a lot of different SEC places. I've been to nine NCAA regionals and this is by far uh, probably one of the top two toughest atmospheres I've ever coached in. Uh, the people here in South Carolina are tremendous as far as the region that they put on. Uh, the atmosphere to play here is a very difficult, very hostile environment. And in order to be successful here, you have to have very good players and very tough players. Um, very resilient guys, and that's exactly what we have. And I feel really fortunate that we have a group that is as resilient as it is. Um, and now they get to enjoy uh, for a few days before we go back to work and and head out for uh, for the Super Regionals. Questions for the student athletes, Neil. Blake, you guys hadn't been in the tournament since 71. Well, what's it mean to you you guys collectively um, to, to come in and, and win a regional like you did here, not drop a game? Um, obviously, it's huge for our program. I mean, we've been, uh, this has been our goal since, since the beginning of our year in the fall. and. Uh, we just were really happy with where we are. We're, we're a hot team right now, and uh, we've been putting together great ball games. And it, like Coach Chef said, it's a tough place to play in. But you know, we came in, and we played really great, and uh, came out with a regional win. So we're really happy right now, and excited for the super regional. Any of the three can answer this. You guys are 14 and two since the beginning of May. What has been the difference for you down the stretch? Uh, I, I mean, the, I think the difference is that we've been attacking people. That's like our main, that's, that's what our coach has been talking about since the beginning, like of the season to attack. That's the only way we're going to win if we attack people. And I feel like uh, everyone bought into it and everyone did great and followed, and followed the, the goal. Bobby, you came in yesterday, got a couple of big outs, and then came in today. How much confidence did you draw from yesterday coming into today uh, to, to protect the lead and then finish out the game? Well, that played a big part of it. Yesterday, the crowd was absolutely crazy, and to get those out, uh, my confidence definitely was boosted. And then today, I just needed to listen to Kevin and throw strikes and uh, got the job done. Kevin, what is it that was a turning point in the season? Where was the, the factor that gave you guys the confidence you had coming into this weekend? Uh, I mean, just playing hard. That was that was like one of our, our main things: just play hard and leave it all on the field. That's what that's that's what our coaches told us: like play hard, and that that's really it. Leave it all on the field. Um, Blake, so fourth inning, you know, two outs. Uh, it looks like the team might, you know, strand this opportunity to score a few runs. Uh, take you take me through that kind of at bat and just went went into that hit. Yeah, for sure. Um, I got down early. I think it was 0-2, and um, you know I was just trying to do my best, put the ball in play, make him make a play. And uh, he left a slider over the plate, and I uh, got enough barrel on it to get through the left side of the infield, and uh, picked up two runs there. So that was, that was probably one of our big turning points of the game right there. Uh, Blake and Kevin, uh, Carolina had several opportunities early. Uh, how big was it with the way Droster pitched to get out of those situations? Uh, it was huge. What I, I what I told Drossen was to just slow the game down. I told him to, to have a tunnel vision. That's what I kept telling him. I mean, if you watch the replays, I keep going like this with my hands. That means saying like, stay with me, like just focus on me. And that's what. And he bought into it. And he just and he threw strikes and he pitched well. Yeah, um, you know, Drossen has great stuff. He's he's uh, he's a great pitcher, and um, you know, it's, um, some of them. Some, one of his problems, he just. He uh, has trouble staying in the zone. We just kept telling him to stay in the zone, you know, stay in the zone. You can get these guys out. So, uh, he, you know, he zoned in and got some big outs there to, in the middle innings or beginning the middle innings. Um, so tonight there were a lot of 
two RBI, I mean two out uh, RBI hits um, early in the season. That was kind of a struggle for the team. Um, kind of just what changed down the stretch, and then what you know what was the um, approach tonight when there were two outs. And that's a. Uh, I mean, the, the big thing a coach talks about was visualizing, visualizing two out hits and being that guy, like wanting to be that guy. So if you have nine nine batters who wants to be that guy, it's it's most likely going to happen and you visualize it. Yeah. Blake, talk about this atmosphere and being able to come in here. No one has beaten South Carolina at home in the regional, regional since 1976. What's it mean to this program? Um, it's huge. I mean, we haven't been to Super Regional, so uh, it's just huge. And I've, I've, I know I've never played in front of a environment like this. You know, you, you come to schools like Maryland and the ACC and stuff to, to play in front of that. So, I mean, I think we were pretty calm and confident coming in, but, you know, it's fun to play in that stuff. So uh, I think we were ready and we, we were having fun out there. Just real fast to follow up for all three of you. Uh, talking about the environment, did your coaches do anything or was this just something that you really get, came out and wanted to embrace uh, playing in the hostile environment in front of the big crowd? Uh, yeah, our coaches uh, did tell us, just like you said, embrace it. I mean, don't get nervous, just the, these are memories right here, so embrace it, take it all in. And I mean, when it comes down to it, it's 60 feet, six inches to the plate, it's 90 feet to first base, so it's the same everywhere. So just slow it down and play the game, and that's what we did. Yeah, we were just focusing on uh, really, like Bobby said, slowing the game down, not, not having it speed up. Just take a deep breath and slow down and let the game come to you. So that's what we really focused on. Yeah, and also we were enjoying the moment at the same time. Fans are going crazy. You're just like smiling. You know, it's fun. It's, it's, a, it's a game of baseball. It's fun. Um, any of you three can answer this, but uh, one of the things Coach talked about last night was the uh, after the Boston College series, you guys were coming back, and that was like a real, you know, a real important moment for the team, a real turning point. Can you guys just talk about what that series meant, just what the uh, kind of what the mood was after uh, after that? Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, well, after Boston College, we went up there, and uh, that was a big series for us, and we got swept. So our backs were really up against the wall if we want to go to the postseason. So we all came together and said, guys, we got to get it going right now, and that's what we did. We just kept fighting every single out, and that's when we started coming back from behind in games, too. So we literally, until the last out was there, we were fighting, and uh, it put, we pulled uh, some big games out. Yeah, I also think it was a big big wake-up call for us, I mean, for us, because we, we are, our hopes were to make it to the postseason, I and mean, we know we had to you know, come in clutch here at the end of the ACC season and uh, midweek games are also very important. So um, definitely a wake-up call for us, that BC series. John, so many really good teams have come in here and not been able to do what your team did. What separates you this weekend? Uh, you know, that's a really good question. I, I'm not really sure I have a really sound answer for that. I mean, I'm sure probably some teams have been here that probably have more talent than we have. Uh, I mean, I know how good the SEC is and I guess the one thing I can tell you is we just have some tough kids, man. Some kids that are just, in the last 40% of this season, just showed some things that I've really rarely seen in college baseball in 24 years. Um, very, very mentally tough kids, very driven kids, uh, and also guys that could perform on a high level under some duress. Uh, I mean, because down the stretch, we, you know, we went, we swept Notre Dame, we swept Pitt, we beat West Virginia at the end of this. Like, those were important RPI games and games that helped us get into the postseason. And then, you know, we went and beat, uh, <clears throat> you know, Virginia and Florida State in back-to-back -back games, open that tournament. Uh, and uh, I just think, you know, it's, it was more of a mental thing than a physical thing. I mean, there's, there's teams in the country that are more talented than we are. But I think it just came to a point where these guys were just said, you know, we want to keep playing. We want to play in a high stage. We're going to enjoy it. And, uh, and we're going to come to absolutely get after you every single day, win or lose. But you're going to know that when you walked away from it, you had to work your backside off to get us out 27 times. How important. Your pitchers got into got runners in scoring position. Oh, Carolina went 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position, 2 for 15 with guys on base. Talk about their performance when they got guys on base. Yeah, I mean, I thought 
I thought Jimmy did an incredible job with our pitching staff today. This was a kind of an interesting situation for us because you obviously want to win today, but you, you know there's a side of you as a coach that's got to look a little bit at tomorrow and say, okay, if we can't quite get it done today, you know where are we going tomorrow for a starter, uh, you know for bullpen. I, mean, I liked our chances in the fourth game facing them in the fifth game. So you're kind of managing on a pretty slippery slope and coaching on a slippery slope for about the first three to five. And we didn't want to bring Roots in the game if we didn't have to. We weren't going to bring him in unless we had some kind of a lead. And then once we brought him in, it was going to be go for the kill right now. We're going to kill now. We're not going to, we're not going to worry about tomorrow. Because in theory, we were thinking about starting him tomorrow because he's a strike throwing machine. We're thinking about it. We weren't settled on it. But uh, so, you know, once that... Once Lee went five to one, it was time to, to go for, for the go for 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 whatever you want to call it. You know, it was kill time at that point. So, um, but I mean, you know, he was a big part of it. But I tell you what, you know, the guy that ended up getting a win for us that threw in the middle of the two innings of Styles through as a true freshman were just tremendous. I mean, I, I got to really tip my cap to that guy. You know, both him and Bobby, they came in the game, they threw five and a third, didn't walk a batter, struck out four. Gave up one hit and five and a third against that group. I mean, I told you guys last night how good our bullpen's been throughout the whole year. You know, we had a little bit of a speed bump in the, in the ACC championship game, but those guys have done that all year for us. And, you know, that's really why one of the big reasons why we're here. Coach, they asked uh, Blake Schmidt about uh, the 0-2 the hit uh, that drive, drove in two runs. That was about the third or fourth time today or over the weekend that you got your guys got a hit with 02 and a big hit uh ninth inning in the old dominion game twice uh it, it has the coaching staff been is, is that part of the slow the game down philosophy that the coaching staff is trying to bring to the kids well i mean slowing the game down you know when you come into an atmosphere like this you're just you know you want to have your guys to just to be able to slow things down and stay in a moment as long as possible. The longer that, that opposing pitcher is out on the mound, the more uncomfortable he is, uh, especially when you have runners in scoring position. So, I mean, he, he kind of dug himself a little bit of a hole there. But, you know, the guy's a senior shortstop. He's playing at the end of his college career. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what a senior – one of your better senior players, that's what they are supposed to do. If you're going to win championships, guys like that, uh, guys like Stinnett, guys like Convasar came off the bench and had a huge hit in the ninth for us against Old Dominion. That's what a good senior player who's tough, that's what they're supposed to do. Um, and that's a big part of, of this whole thing happening this way. Is the older guys, if you're going to be special, your older guys have got to be special. In, in, in the last 40% half of the season, there were certainly very, a lot of older guys that were special. So on Friday, you go into the ninth inning and you're you know, down a few runs, and then this turnaround happens. I mean, do you think that turnaround kind of uh, symbolizes maybe this team's like fighting spirit that they've kind of learned as the season has progressed? I would say so. I mean, me and you've been talking for a long time about playing from behind and playing well on the road, and and that that was kind of the beginning of the weekend. I mean, you know, I mean, in all honesty, we, we weren't very good offensively leading up to that that inning. And that inning, you know, when you know when things are going good for you, for teams, stuff like that happens. And when things are going bad for you, obviously it goes in the other direction. So, you know. I talked to my friend Carl Kuhn, who's a pitching coach of Virginia, after we beat them in the ACC tournament, and he was talking about how we really had it going and about how we just had to kind of ride the wave. And he's right. I give him credit. You know, we've been trying to ride the wave of good fortune and good feelings and good players and tough players. And, uh, you know, it's not every day you get to enjoy success like this, so you try to enjoy it as much as you can. <laughs>